Are you getting frustrated trying to set your threads and XM rig on HiveOS? Well, guess what? So was I, but I figured it out and I'm about to show you. going on everyone rabbit here with the rabbit my youtube channel i'm coming at you with another rabbit's guide to show you guys how to set your threads on xm rig in hive os if you're not yet subscribed to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button thumbs up and bell notifications so you don't miss a future episode also this is going to show you how to slightly boost your hash rates as well on a coin like raptorium as you can see here rig 10 and rig 9 they're both 3950x cpus and rig nine is sitting at 3.375 kilohash, where rig 10 is sitting at 3.245. Usually they're always the same. I have maximum threads set on rig nine and just the 12 cores set on three on rig 10. And you can see I am gaining a bit of hash rate as well. Before you guys roast me in the comments saying the Ghost Rider algorithm could be on different algos, it's not. Within five seconds on Hive OS, you can hit the refresh button and everything is usually close to the same because they all swap to the same algorithm around the same time. As you can see from rig one to seven, these are all 3,900 X's mining to different pools, but they're all fairly close to each other in terms of hash rate, which is what I always see every time I look at that between the 3,950 X's as well. So they're on the same uh, algorithm on Ghost Rider, and you can see I have a decent gap here between the actual hash rate. So I know it's not massively a lot, but it is some extra improvement. So I tried the extra config arguments. I used the thread commands that the majority of miners use, and it doesn't work. I then tried the CPU configuration backend with the threads command, and again, it doesn't work. Everything always reverts right back to using the XM rig documentation. Now, this is all set up and fine and dandy when it comes to bat files and windows, but you do have to convert it to the Linux version for them to kind of operate. We already tried the threads command, and again, it doesn't work. So then as always, do your own research. I hit to the Google machine and then we check out, you know, some Reddit here. So there's a Raptorian post in Reddit where someone does say, you can limit your threads number by adding this line. So you have your algo here, so RX. So for Ghost Rider Raptorium, we need GR, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Always remember zero is counts as one. So if you put in 10, you're actually at 11. 12, you'll be at 13. So if you want 12 as an even number, you're gonna use 11 and so on. So remember, zero, one, two, three, four, all the way like that. So I was like, right on, we're on to some. Let's try it out. I go into my rig, I copy that in there. I have it all set up, I SSH in and it doesn't work. So a little bit of time goes by, I try a bunch of combinations and it's not working. Then all of a sudden, boom, I had a light bulb. And I was like, wait a minute, I don't think GR is correct. If we go back into Windows here, I find my Raptorium config. I open that up and I go to the config here. We presently in the past had the same issue trying to get Windows XM rig to even run because the algorithm was wrong. It is saying Ghost Rider, not GR. So I went in there, I copied Ghost Rider. I was like, okay, if this doesn't work, I don't know what's going on. So I copied Ghost Rider, I closed it out. And let's get back into Hive OS. I eliminate the GR because you are wrong. Stop it. Ghost Rider. Let's try this. We're going to apply the changes. We're going to update and we're going to go all workers. Yes. So this is only for rig nine. Hit here. Let's see what happens now. Oh. We're sitting at 10 threads, guys, 20 of 20 threads. So we're using 10 on the CPU. So CPU side, that is your 10 cores from 16 on this 3950X. We were running at 20 threads. It worked. So now I wanted to see what would happen if I fully utilized the CPU based on threads instead. So remember zero always counts as one. So you're gonna need one number less. 3950X is 32 uh, threads with 16 cores. So 31 will put us at the 32 cores, counting the zero there. So we get rid of that and we can see now Hive OS is showing all of our threads now instead of previously, like we see on rig 10, it's only showing the 16 cores. So 
We are showing all our threads. So that was one part that was very interesting. And coming back into the main dashboard, hit the refresh again. We must have swapped an algorithm. We can see 3.476 kilohash on rig 10, which is just the 12 cores, and 3.635 kilohash with all 32 threads enabled. So we are gaining some hash rate by utilizing all the threads. We weren't really utilizing the complete CPU. It was fairly close, really, really close, but it looks like we are getting a little bit of a performance boost by adding every single thread in individually to our flight sheet. So now I limited it down to 18 threads, I guess, per se. I thought of maybe use it on the core side. Obviously we don't have that many cores in here just to see if it worked. Cause I was debating if maybe you had to go under the 16 core mark to actually start underclocking it or uh, less threads usage type of thing, but it does look like it is working just based on your straight out thread. So now you can see we're using two, four, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 threads, just like it says it's displaying here, but we are down on the hash rate a little bit. I just hit the total wrong refresh. So 4.9 kilo hash where rig 10 is now sitting at 5.6. And again, this is showing us our 12. So throwing in that direct number, will limit your threads to whatever you do want to use. So this is the command you're going to need for Hive OS. I will paste this in the description. All you'll have to do is copy it. Now, depending on what YouTube allows me to put in the description, it may be missing like the quotations, maybe the semicolon, uh, maybe these brackets. So keep an eye, copy what you can, and then watch this, pause it here so you know it's right. All the commas and everything has to be in the correct spots or it won't work for you. At the end, there has to be a comma and you cannot end your threads or anything at a comma like this either. It has to be at the number. So make sure it's exactly the same as this when you copy it. And again, at the time of recording, I don't know what YouTube will allow me to put in the description. So I'll get as much of it in there as I can. All right, so I hope this video did help you guys out. A lot of you are curious how to actually get this going on Hive OS. And I got rig nine and 10 on the exact same flight sheet now. And you can see 2.720, 2.722. The hash rates are pretty, pretty close to being the same. So utilizing all your threads manually will boost you a little bit more hash rate. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, thumbs up, bell notification to be notified for future videos. If you know of anybody that may benefit from this video, be sure to share it with them, share it on other platforms, your social media. I'll see you guys on the next one. Rabbit out. Thank you for watching my video. And if you haven't seen one of these, be sure to check them out. And if you already seen them, maybe you missed some, might have to watch it one more time. And if you just let it play in the background, that's all right as well. I do try to live stream every weekend as well as every couple days during the week. So be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss that. As always, have a great day.